Hi everyone, my name is Harper Fendler. I'm the cocktail resident here at Food 52, and today in cocktail class with our friends over at Tito's, we're going over the Cosmopolitan. So we saw the Cosmopolitan first coming into itself and evolving in the 80s, but after the 80s, we saw a little bit of a drop off in the popularity of the Cosmopolitan. In 1997, Tito's came to the forefront, and in 1998, we had a popular TV show kicking off. You know which one. And with all those elements combined, the Cosmopolitan started to have its renaissance. It's gone up and down in popularity over the years, but any bar that you go to should be able to make you a Cosmopolitan, which for me is the mark of a lasting drink. Now let's go over some of the basic building blocks of the Cosmo. All right, so we have our building blocks for a Cosmopolitan right here. We have some vodka, some citrus, and we have our cranberries. We also have a little bit of an orange curacao here. And that's pretty much it with a Cosmo. A little unfair oftentimes with a Cosmo, people see it's a bright pink drink, so they think it's supposed to be a sweet and sugary thing. But if we look at these elements, the Cosmo is tart, bright, refreshing. And we use the curacao and a little bit of sugar, not to sweeten it, but just to round it out. But we're going to ramp it up a little bit, and I'm gonna show you my preferred Cosmo. So to make my Cosmo, I have a few elements that I like to make from scratch. With a Cosmo, we see the classic recipes using a citrus-infused vodka of some kind, but I like to make my own. Over here, I have about six lemons that I sliced up and froze a little bit. So we're going to infuse our Tito's with lemons. We're going to pour the Tito's over top, let it sit out at room temp for about 12 hours, and then we'll strain it off and use it. So at the end, we'll have our own citrus Tito's. Now, if you don't have time to start an infusion, that's fine. You can enjoy a Cosmo with the original Tito's as well. If you have any other questions about infusions, we've actually done an entire episode on that, and you should check it out. So here is an example of that lemon-infused Tito's. This is one that we did earlier. Again, it sat for about 12 hours, we strained it off, and now it's ready to go. A lot of times with the Cosmo, you see people using a store-bought cranberry juice, which often has a lot of sugar already added. Sometimes you can find unsweetened cranberry juice, which is great, but that's not always easy to find for everyone. So what we're going to do instead is make our own cranberry cordial. That way we get to dictate how much sugar we're adding in, and we get fresh cranberry right from the source. We have 100 grams of cranberries right here. These were frozen, we let them thaw. Let's go ahead and add them right to the blender. I have about 200 grams of sugar, and I have about eight grams of orange zest right here. This came from about two oranges. I like using orange zest in this cordial because it kind of completes that trifecta of citrus. Our lemon-infused Tito's, we are going to use a little bit of lime juice, and now we have a little bit of an orange element in the cranberry cordial to complement our curacao later on. Lastly, we're just gonna add about 100 grams of water, and now we just blend. All right, it looks like all of our sugar is dissolved now and we are ready to strain this off. All right, so that is our cranberry cordial all strained out. So let's go ahead and make our Cosmopolitan. We're gonna start with an ounce and a half of our lemon-infused Tito's. We do three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice three quarters of an ounce of our cranberry cordial, and half an ounce of curacao. And now all we do is add ice and shake. So we have our tin, it's all frosted up, nice and cold. We are ready to strain. There you have it. Using Tito's for this drink is a wonderful foundation. The body and roundness of the Tito's is a great complement to all these tart elements like the cranberry, lime, and the lemon infusion. So what we're left with is a full-bodied, refreshing, and bright drink. That is my Cosmopolitan from scratch. I want to thank everyone for joining me today in cocktail class, and until next time, cheers.